The rental housing tribunals around the country are a wonderful tool available to both landlords and to tenants. It's a free uh, tribunal where mediation can take place, where either the tenant or the landlord can approach the tribunal where they have a dispute with the other party. This is fantastic, especially from the tenant's perspective, in ensuring that the landlord maintains the property, in ensuring that where there is um, disregard in terms of the refunding of the deposit, that the tenant has somewhere to go where the deposit can be dealt with by an outside party. If mediation or arbitration doesn't work, then the tribunal will sit and there will be a ruling. And that ruling has the same effect as a magistrate's court ruling. The only limitation to the tribunal from the landlord's perspective is that the tribunal cannot make an order of eviction. So where a landlord is placed in a position where the tenant is not paying rent and the tenant is not vacating the property, that um, matter will still have to be heard in front of the magistrates or the High Court. Even insofar as the changes to the Rental Housing Amendment Bill, there's no change to the effect that um, the Rental Housing Tribunal will be able to hear a matter on eviction.